So today I'm going to share a web forms quick tip. And for those of you that already know this, that might not be all that exciting, but if you don't already know this, I'm hoping it will blow your mind because it's one of the most useful things you can do with web forms. I'm going to show you how to turn it into a block so you can embed it wherever you want. You can embed it on a page, you can embed it in a sidebar, you can put it in a header or a footer, anywhere you can put a block, you'll be able to put your web forms. So to do that, I have created this page, it's called Embed a Web Form I Dare You, and it's full of a bunch of dummy text. I have also created a web form, it's just a standard web form with a name, an email, and a message. And I don't want this to be its own page, I want to put this on my Embed a Web Form I Dare You page. So to do that, I'm going to click on Web Form, I'm going to click on Form Settings, and then if you scroll all the way to the very bottom, you'll notice this Advanced Settings menu. Now, I feel like this is so easy to overlook, which is why I'm sharing it. It's at the very bottom, it's in a menu that's closed, and all you have to do is click this Available as Block button, and now you can embed your web form wherever you can put a block. Go ahead and click Save Configuration. If you go to Structure and to Blocks, at the very, very bottom, hopefully, yep, there it is, Web Form, my awesome web form. So now it's a block, and we can put it wherever we want. So we're going to click Configure. I'm going to leave the block title blank. Um, that way it will receive the name that I gave it when I created it as a web form. Uh, under display mode you have some options. I really like form only but you can do full node and teaser if you would rather. Uh, under region this is where you want to um, embed your web form. I'm going to put it in the content and I'm going to only list it on the page that I created. And I think I called that awesome page. Click save block. I'm going to head back out to the home page and go to my Embed a Web Form I Dare You page, and then at the bottom, there's my web form. So you can see why this is so useful, because that was really easy. We can put a form wherever we want, and hopefully, if you didn't know that, that's something that you can use on every Drupal site that you build.